Yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Welcome back once again, and thanks for tuning in. We have today Silver 6284 from Cart E. Cart, uh, what is it? Cart um, um, Exceptional. I used to know that I was supposed to be in that clan. What does it mean? Cart uh, Elite. That's what it is. It is Cartel Elite. Silver is Elite. Definitely Elite. He is here on Malinoka and he's headed up to the hill. And I wanted to show this one because it ends up being an ace tanker, but it's a great example of a game that doesn't really start well, and he just stuck with it. He's going to get arty. He is going to lose the mill, at least initially, to a Carnarvon. He is going to have a Progetto over here on his side working guys, and he's already down three tanks to one. Lost a Tier 8, lost a TD, and a Tiger 161. But Silver is not going to quit. And all of a sudden, he's got a low on his side. And this is looking really grim, right? He's like, holy cow, well, I'll just, just move up. And I got a KV-2. So he gets up here with all his hit points. He's got a KV-2. First shot. Gets hammered by the HE. Takes another artillery shot. First of many. Coming in there. Looks like a little stun action. And now the Carnarvon's doing a nice job of side scraping. But he has lost some hit points. The type has done some work on him. And the, the guy pulls out. Blocks the shot. He... Oh, he exposes for the shot on the KV-2 and loses some hit points, but puts it in the KV-2. Another artillery shot into him, and it's really looking grim. It really is. He does have some backup back to the lowest come up, but he's getting some good side scrape action out of the Carnarvon, and the Type 59 does him a solid and drops the KV-2, which was about to drop a bunch more hit points. Gets in here, looks for a shot, but only gets the track. Type 59 goes a little bit wide. He notices that the Carnarvon fires, so he comes in near. Even though the Carnarvon reloads pretty quickly, he's able to get inside his reload, put a shot up underneath the track. He's going to go for another one here. This guy fixes just in time, but he ends up over-angling just slightly, and Silver takes him down and has even things up okay. It's 3-4, still a hold down low. Oh, man, Lerva. There's the Lerva. Hold down right there, bounces off the turret. And now he's thinking, all right, now what do I do with this silly Lerva right here? Well, I would have gone and finished off the Progetto. Ignore the Lerva, let him sit there. He's not doing anything. Artillery, he's out in the open. He is supporting, to some extent, the, the Progetto. But there's no reason to sit here and keep on exposing and letting that artillery, because there's two M44s and an M12. And the M44s reload quite fast, the M12 a little slower, but with three of them, they can pretty much be raining on you. Look at all the all the damage in there from artillery shots on the ground. And that Progetto's down to a one-shot, so I probably would have just charged in there, taken that guy out while I wasn't paying attention. A bit earlier than this, but we're going to reposition, and it looks like you and Man Manku, the Type 59, have the same idea. So the Type 59 moves in, Silver backs down the hill a bit just so the Progetto can't see him. Comes in from this direction, and boom, the artillery hits him. Comes up and over, and on we go. So as he's moving in here, oh, he got spotted crossing, and there's probably some artillery looking this way. Actually, I'll tell you there is, because the poor Type 59 gets hit. We move on this way a little bit, and avoid artillery. Now we've got the standard guys that are sitting down on the sniper spots, and because we've got the hill and a couple guys down amongst them, they're nice and lit. So we're just coming up here looking for shots. We'll come in. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Definitely spotted because we come up and out of that bush right there and eat a, an HE shot from a Jackson. Sweet. 39 hit points. Put one hit into the Sioux. But we're really not winning quite yet. It's 5-6. We do have pretty good positioning. We've lost well down in the south. The E-25 on the enemy team has crossed over. But so far not really pushing back into the backfield. Now we're trying to figure out how to get rid of this Lerva. And this is a tricky one right here with this thing. We see a shot. See how your just hole is a little bit up? You need to be more to the right on the flat part. Come down in here and look for that side shot while maintaining as much of this rock between you and the, the snipers down here, which is really why it's nice to be over to the right side on this particular little U-shaped area. Your hole isn't quite jacked up to the left as much. Bad depression on this tank anyway, but you do have to come down a little bit more to get that shot on the Lerva. I'm just going to accept that shot, trying to get that in there. We'd really like to avoid taking a return shot if we could. Down to six at points, and now we've really got this guy. And I again, I think had you, instead of going up and over, had you come down straight this way, you'd have eventually got your gun on him. Plus, you'd have been lower than him, so needing less of your uh, depression. And fortunately, he was probably stunned or just you got inside his reload, and that's a good thing. And down he goes. I would have 
put my pipper on that Jackson and fire it on the way in. You might as well. Clearly you're going for the cover, that's the right idea. Come in here. And I don't know if I would have exposed myself as much to the left side of that rock. I'd have tried to cover up here as much as possible. Just wait for a few potatoes. Wait till your buddies start to come up. There's a Hellcat, you need to move out to get him. There we go. This gun actually is pretty accurate for a Chinese gun. It's one of the few Chinese heavies that actually has a pretty nicely accurate gun. I like showing it too. It's the 110 is not a very standard tank. You know, it's a lot like an IS-3 in shape, but it only hits, I don't know, is it a 390? Maybe it is a 390 Alpha. What is it? 320, right? So it's a little bit less than that big 390 Alpha that the IS-3 carries. It reloads a little faster, a bit more accurate. Nice zoom in. And we cut down, or at least help cut down the M12. Now that's satisfying, isn't it, folks? At the end of the game, you've been blapped by artillery over and over to find one of those guys and knock them out. That's good stuff right there. That is good, good stuff. Now we've got a T20, E25, KB85. Two of them have been over at the cap. The AB85 is either in a bush back here or nearby cap. You end up finding the E25, and he's one of the more dangerous guys out here. But he gets tracked by the Lurve who hits him and tracks him, you hit him, and of course artillery takes out the very low hit point, Lerva. And we're waiting to kill this guy off, that's very nice. And now I see the KV-85, and I think this is kind of a mistake. You're gonna come in here and it looks like you're going right for the artillery. Maybe you don't notice the, the KV-85, actually goes dark. Moving forward, and I just stopped right there, moved my gun over and absolutely schwammered that guy from the trees right here, from the bushes, but we break out Looks like he's going to see us. We look over at the yeah, Definitely everyone in the world sees us. We get hammered twice. Surprised the... Did the KV-85 hit you? The T-20 bounced. KV-85 did not hit you. So either fired someone else or didn't have a shot or just plain old miss. KV-85 dies. That's a good thing. And now we've just got the T-20. And there's the artillery. He puts another 139. You really owe him at this point. Hopefully we don't get killed by the other one. Question is, do they A, know you're, you're tracked, and B, are they going to reload in time? We are down a driver. I probably would have fixed him just to get a little more mobility out of it. We see the T20, that's a good thing. There we go. So we come in here and get ourselves 320 damage. It'll be really nice. No, we're just gonna, we're just gonna get a critical track, but at least we're now getting the assist. Cranking up, Let's see if we can knock this dude out. Hit him, nice. Down he goes, and we're looking for the artillery. So go ahead, KV2. You've got the hit points to give. Silver will just blow up if he gets hit or splashed. We'll slow shift to the left because our driver is dead. And we're moving forward, and we haven't even used any gold. Nicely done on that. A little bit more forward to get our depression. There he is. We got this guy right. Let's kill him. No. Oh, a little late. And there's the other one, and you're thinking, well, he's not going to get him, but a couple people miss. People are reloading, takes one hit from somebody, and blap! Yes! A kill, and we're at five kills, 2,853 damage, 1,786 assists. A really good example of a game that didn't start off too great, but Silver stuck with it, did the right things to win the map, took the hill, got up to the, to the windmill, minimized his exposure to already as much as he could, killed the guys that were up there, Shifted down tactically, a tactical flank down to deal with the Progetto. And then maybe a little bit of a mistake on dealing with the Lerva, but eventually got there and then nice and carefully moved through the forest, killing off people as they went. Little bunny Fufu hopping through the forest. All right, man. Thanks for sending that in. It's a good example, and we will see you.